If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over my free team builder that I did get from the solos, as well as the best ones to pick. So this will be a ranking video as well as a reward video. So I'm going to rank them first so you guys can see my thought process on them. Then I'm going to go ahead and actually pick the one I want for my team. Now, here's the thing. There's a few ways to get this free one. Uh, I got mine from my challenges and the objectives. You can go ahead and get them. It's a free team builder, which I highly recommend you actually do go and pick up because these team builders are actually low key, super OP for their overall and the time of the game. A lot of super fast players in this that give you a real edge up on a few things. Now, again, guys, here's the thing with my top. I have a ranking of top six. The thing with my top six is this. These are very interchangeable because my number two could be your number five. These are just the six players that I think you need to pick one, at, one of at least these guys with more of the, like the first three or four being the guys I really lean towards. But it's really important that you go ahead and look at it from your team standpoint. Because remember, let's just say, right, I have Justin Fields on this list. But you're a God Squad yearly, and you're not a, you are not have quarterbacks rotating in and out. That wouldn't be a good pick for you. Now, if you're a super budget squad that literally just needs you need, you need to be able to compete with speed, Justin Fields could be your guy at quarterback, right? And so on and so forth. If you already have a nat wide receiver, and I put a wide receiver in this list, and you have too many of them, go for the next guy on the list, right? So make sure you use this list. Don't lock yourself, kind of like fantasy football, don't lock yourself into drafting these specific people because things change throughout the year. But before we get into today's video, guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, you want to be shout out on the Poodle Squad. Um, all you gotta do is like the video and comment down below Poodle Squad. Today's shout out goes to Brandon Carver. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you for showing support each and every day. If you guys, uh, if you guys are new here, subscribe, turn that only bell, and of course, like I said, smash the like button. So Let's head on into this. So first off, let's head over to the marketplace so we can go through and give you my reasonings, pretty much why I like, who I like, and where I like them at. So coming in number six, the thing with this list, like I said, is they're going to be interchangeable. Now, this guy is going to be at the linebacker position, which is important to mention because people, some people don't really like using linebackers. And I don't really see the reason. Um, I mean, I get why you don't like using them, but I, I love the linebacker position regardless. I know competitively you don't really want to be using them. But if for whatever reason you're a linebacker guy, this would be my sixth guy. And that's Jeremiah from the Browns for one specific reason. 89 speed, 90 excel. He's he's going to be a stand-up linebacker. You know, he's not going to be anything crazy. But that speed right now could be big for the run game, you know, getting off the edge to stretches. So, again, maybe not put him an outside linebacker. You could rock him in the middle of the field. Have him as more of a stand-up, a stand-up zone guy. He won't be great in zone. But if you don't like using, if you don't, some people can't use their safeties. They don't have the right scheme for it. You can go ahead and use him. He's 89 speed, 90 excel, 6 foot 2. Going to have a great frame. I'm going to move on from him, though, because like I said, that was more like an honorable mention. Now, to get into my five, because of course, like I said, not everyone's going to want to use a linebacker. Most people probably don't, but I threw him in there because he was probably the best linebacker of the bunch. So next, guys, on the list, coming in number five, we have Deshaun Jackson. Now, it's pretty obvious Deshaun Jackson is pretty much just the top pick here. He has an 89 speed. Now, he can't be powered up, which kind of hurts him a little bit. Uh, it would have been nice to get him to 90, but he's as fast as Tyree Kill for free. So if, remember, guys, obviously Tyree Kill is a flashy name. He's the guy that can be powered up to a 90 speed. He's the guy that will last you all year long. But Deshaun Jackson could be free out of this pack. So I highly recommend you take a look at him. Only reason I probably won't end up taking him, like I said, is because I already have. I have Nat, Stephon Diggs, Nat, Keenan Allen. I'm going to have a, I'm going to probably buy Tyreek Hill and I'll probably take my Nat rookie premier Jamar Chase. That's four wide receivers. So that's why I might even take Jamar. I might take Kyle Pitts now because I'm going to have, I already have, I like Stephon Diggs. He's really good. I'm probably going to power him up. And then I'm also going to have Tyreek Hill. So that part, that leaves me right there. So I just don't see Deshaun Jackson making a spot on my team. And with that route running, of course, that's more of the budget day option where Tyreek has some better stats all around, as well as Tyreek's going to take him and change a direction and juke and all that other stuff. But again, this is like a budget Tyreek Hill. If you want Tyreek Hill for essentially free, you get Deshaun Jackson. Next on the list is a guy, like I said, a good example I gave earlier was going to be Justin Fields. Now, Justin Fields I have up here because he's a really, really good quarterback. He's probably one of the best quarterbacks in the game, and he's free. The only question thing with him is going to be that he's a quarterback, and he's not. You can't sell this card. Now, remember, if you're not getting the Nat Pack, you're getting it from just, you're buying them. It's different. But if you have a Nat, guys, Justin Fields has to be on this list, Nat or not. He's just really good. Again, his accuracy may not be the greatest, but with the right, with the right, uh, like elite passer strategy card combined with Justin Fields with 87 speed, 88 throw power, six foot three. He's also has 86 agility, gonna have 80 juke, gonna have 84 change direction. He's just really good. He's a dynamic, athletic quarterback, and you really just can't discount a guy like that for free out of a nap pack, especially with an 84 overall, who's gonna be pretty good for a little bit. Again, he's not gonna be a meta quarterback by any means, but he's still gonna be a good quarterback. I really just can't argue against taking a Justin Fields. Now to get into the top three now. Top three is interesting. Going to be a lot of speed here. 
And that's what's important with a guy like this. You want to take a guy with speed. Because if you don't take a guy with speed, the problem you're going to end up encountering is that all these guys will have issues keeping up with the uh, with the rest of the players. If you take a guy who's really skillful here with an 84 speed, he's already kind of behind in speed, technically, with the wide receivers and the tight ends, everything we have already. So you're already behind. So these guys won't last long. You want a guy that's going to be A, either at a depth position, B, can be moved around the defense a little bit or the offense, or C, is super dominant right now. Like the Sean Jackson's at a depth position and he has super dominant speed, right? That's the point. Next, we have Quiddy Pay. Quiddy Pay may only be an 84 overall, right? Like everyone else, but he has an 87 speed and 88 excel. That would mean that he'll be the fastest probably end in the game for at least a month. I have to imagine, unless we get like some crazy Julius Peppers legend off the rip or something. Uh, he'll be the best. He'll be the fa not the best, the fastest. He's not going to have crazy blocks or power move. So don't expect him to get off the block slot. But if he does, he has the speed on stretches to get around and chase down. He's not betting a quarterback spy is going to be really good. But that speed alone is going to be pretty dominant. I personally, again, will not be taking this guy for my own specific reasons of I will be getting Aaron Donald, who's also right on. But then again, like I said, you can move him to the left end. So he, there's some movement there, which is why I like him. But I already have a Jack Youngblood and Aaron Donald. So again, he won't be my guy. He won't be. But again, all good for you guys. But you're going to see who my guy is, right? As for my number two pick, it was between Nasir Adderley and Darnell Savage. Now, originally, I was going to put Nasir Adderley here, and I really want to put him here. But when looking at his stats, the 81 Excel kind of hurts. Now, the 89 speed's faster than Darnell Savage, who's my... This is like my 1A and 1B, which I'll go through in a second. His zone's, his zone's good. His speed's better. He's 6 feet tall. His agility's great, but his Excel's low. Now, the, sc the scary thing is on defense right now. Players already feel slow off the rip. Like, on a deep bomb, if he only has 81 Excel getting out of his deep zone, I've been seeing them sit there. Uh, as a user, right? If I have to change direction and then get catch back up on speed, the 81 Excel's kind of scary. And this is a big year where... Change of direction and excel and agility are very important. He really only has the agility here. Change of direction to 86 isn't bad, but that excel scary, right? But I like the speed. But then uh, Darnell Savage is more of a well-rounded pick that could probably do a little bit more. And what I like about Darnell Savage is here's the thing. When you're Seer Adderley, if you put him in the lineup at safety and then you get a new safety, you can always move him to linebacker. Remember that. You can always move a safety to linebacker. That's what people have been doing for years. So it's never, it's never a bad thing to have up to like four safeties because you can put him somewhere. The problem is, Nasir Adderley has no hit power, so he's not going to have much strength. So in the run game and stuff, he's not going to be able to really throw people back on tackles. He's not going to be able to make hard hits. He's not going to be like an enforcer at the front of the line, which is important. When you have a lot of enforcers, it kind of scares people to run right into you and how to swerve you and do dumb stuff like that. Darnell Savage has two less speed, but he does have six more Excel, which in a game like this year, it's seeming like Excel is like head for head with speed this year, a little bit, a little bit more than usual. So the six plus Excel could make up for the lack of two speed, as well as he does come with a 13 better hit power. So he's going to be more well-rounded. Uh, he, has, he has good Excel, good speed, good pursuit. He has good zone. He has good hit power. He's well-rounded in everything. 87 jumping, 5 foot 11. So Darnell Savage, he's good. 84 change direction. I really like this Darnell Savage card. He's one of my top picks here. And then again, for the last guy on the list, I'm going to go with Fabian Moreau. He's good. He's really good. And the thing about him is his stats may suck, but he has 90 speed. 90 speed, 91 excel, 86 agility, 87 jumping. Imagine Deion Sanders with no zone, right? That's what it reminds me. Deion Sanders with no coverage. But he has that athleticism. He has that 70 catching. He has that everything you like and like that. He's an athletic corner build. Six feet tall, too. Again, he could be a fourth corner. He could just be a nickel guy, a dime. A dime or nickel guy. You just talk, a dime guy's perfect for him. Again, you can, you're starting him now, right? But the thing, again... If you already get the Deion Sanders and you have the JC Jackson and you have whoever else at corner, you may not want him. And I under I completely understand the sentiment because you don't know where you could really put him sometimes. But again, he could be in diamond nickel, which could last you a while. But if you're in a nickel side, you could you can man him up on a, on a running back, someone with bad routes, and just let him let lock up with speed, right? That's important. You can put him on Tyree Kill or people who just send their speed guys on streaks because he'll keep up with streaks. Problem may be some crazy routes and deep posts, right? That could be a problem. But that's why these guys are my two top guys. Now, out of the list... Jeremiah, Deshaun, Fields, Quiddy Pay, Darnell Savage, and uh, Fabian. F Fabian Moore, however you say his name. Now, the thing with these six guys, it's important to go ahead and understand what works for your team. So, if we take a look at my team real quick. Well, I'm missing some guys in the lineup right now because I don't want to put my overall too high for some of the challenge stuff I've been doing. This is the team right now. So, with the wide receiver setup, I'm going to have Randy Moss, Devin Hester, Stephon Diggs, and I plan to go ahead and actually go, and I have the key now, and I plan to go ahead and get Tyreek Hill. So I'm not, uh, I won't be taking my wide receiver spot. At quarterback, I have uh, Mahomes, so I won't be taking my quarterback. And then it ends, like I said, I'm going to go pick up Aaron Donald, and I already have, um, I have Jack Youngblood. I just haven't put him in the lineup yet. At already an 89 overall. So again, not an end spot. So that leaves you with Darnell Savage or a, uh, a Fabian. But I feel like JC Jackson is right there. 
right? Deion Sanders is going to be better than him, in my opinion, or just close to it with the coverage. At least only a third cornerback spot, spot really left open, which I could probably go ahead and pick up like a Jalen Ramsey. I feel like I'd rather go with the Darnell Savage. I, I think I'd rather go with the Darnell Savage. That's personally my opinion here. I mean, Fabian's good. Let's open the pack up. Let's check it out. There's just a lot. There's a lot going on, guys. I understand. And I understand if anyone ever gets concerned with packs like this. I get it. They're they're not. Once you take it, like you're kind of set. You're you're done, right? But I think I, I'm going to lean towards the safety here for my personal team because he's going to have a longer lifespan on my team. Uh, the cornerback, like I said, will be replaced very shortly for lack of for lack of coverage, especially in a route running heavy year. But he's good. For almost everyone, he's good. It's just for my specific team. I I, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna probably get a Ramsey soon, or I'm gonna pick up a really fast corner. Well, there's gonna be another legend corner. A lot of great wide receivers. So I know corners are coming. So for me, I'm going to go ahead with the Packers pack. I'm going to take my Darnell Savage. Because I can always put my middle linebacker. That's what I like about it. I can, I can toss him in a linebacker in games. Um, I definitely passed this Packer pack, right? Tell me it's the pack that's grayed out. Right, I'm going to take, take my chances here. Please tell me that was it. Oh, thank you. I would have been really upset if I didn't get that. Or if I picked the wrong thing or it was just glitching out. All right, so we're going to get our team builder card. And we're going to get... So I, I forgot that you could pick you could pick one of the each one of each, but I didn't really factor that in. I wanted Darnell Savage. That's personally my favorite team builder right there. Uh, Lucas Patrick isn't bad. I mean, good right guard, solid guy. I probably would like to have actually taken a guard in this spot, but I like I like Darnell Savage. That's the guy I picked. That's the guy I'm gonna go with here. He's good. I'm gonna fit him into the lineup. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions regarding who you should take and any like personal team questions about who you should take, let me know down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Want to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad? Hit that subscribe button. Comment down below Poodle Squad and like the video. And if you guys need coins, head over to my reserve down below and use code Poodle. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.